Good Sunday, everybody. Thanks for stopping in. I don't know if it's the morning for you over the night, but I just want to do a quick video on the weekend, just to take a look at uh, some different results that we've seen across of dollar cost averaging versus lump sum as we take a look at the cryptos that, uh, and digital assets that I've invested into and how things have progressed so far. So real quick, there was a video that we did, gosh, just uh, no, like three or four days ago. And where I talked about lump sum and we took a look at uh, how that would look like as compared to like dollar cost averaging. And, and there was some pretty good findings as far as like lump sum. Again, it was all about timing the market and really putting it down when you wanted to like put all your money into it. And of course, if you would have done that in 2017, uh, you'd been a genius, right? But then moving forward, if you're done at the peak of 2021, you've been a moron. And of course, it's, it's all these things about what people want. That's the great thing about the show is I just tell you what I'm doing. And then, of course, you can make the best decision for you. So I just took a look at uh, some different cryptos that were out there. And I, and I put a, a big swath uh, all over. And actually, only like two or three actually made it as far as dollar cost averaging if we would have started in 2022, January 1st, which was the beginning of the actual decline. And I'll get to this in a second. I just want to uh, just share some news with you real quick about uh, some, some concerning concerns, I would say, about Binance. Now, there's a lot of, uh, and of course, we'll get to the DCA thing just like in three minutes. But as far as Binance goes, there's been a lot of FUD, a lot of problems, a lot of issues that have been coming out. But I just see things stacking up, and I just have to bring those to your attention. Uh, it's what, what you do with it is, of course, up to you. Uh, I'm just showing you uh, what the information that I have. So this was from OpenSea, and OpenSea stated, uh, we've decided that the cost to continue supporting Binance Smart Chain outweighs the impact. They didn't say anything about uh, the cost, because the cost for Binance Smart Chain is actually quite low. So the question is, why are they stopping support for Binance Smart Chain? They said, starting today, you will no longer be able to create new listings for or make new offerings on Binance Smart Chain's NFTs. And that was just one thing which really wouldn't be a big issue. Uh, however, there was a tweet that I saw this morning from Marty Party. And uh, this gentleman here, host of Crypto Spaces, crypto macro analyst, uh, <laughs> blockchain enthusiast. And he comes out and he says, there's a reason BNB has not dropped below 212. Binance has BNB lacked loan liquidating at $212 down from $220 after the margin was added in June. The rationale was this. CZ Binance is in self-preservation mode, selling Bitcoin from the wallet of blank. I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, for for uh, Tether or TUSD, TrueUSD, and buying BNB to save this exchange chain from a fatal margin call. And this is where it gets uh, wacky. U.S. regulators are selling down the U.S. Marshall's holdings to force liquidate BNB loan to drive CZ Binance out of the industry. Cat and mouse game. And I linked uh, Marty Party's uh, Twitter account. You can check it out. And he says, yeah, it's still being defended. 215 is the thing. I took a look. And so far, he's right. And if we take a look over, this is the past 24 hours. I don't really care so much about that. Over seven days. Okay, 215.08, right on the dot. 14 days, same thing, 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, I don't know about one year. Yeah, one year, holy smokes. So it was just interesting. And then, of course, the Bitcoin wall that they referenced, you can just see that there's been a lot of selling of Bitcoin off this wallet. If this is the Binance wallet, I have no idea. It's not labeled for me, but uh, I linked this in the description. You can find it out. But you can see there's, a, there's, some, there's some buys here, 7, 200, 13, 107. But there's just a sea of red. And this is not like over days. This is August 20th. All this is August 20th, 2023. Yeah, that would be today. And you can see that it's uh, quite a bit of red moving forward. So I don't know if that's the case. And then also there's a big issue. I An issue with uh, Yuga Labs and a bunch of different NFTs, some large NFTs um, that are out there. And just one I was looking for this, this story and I typed in OpenSea on Twitter. If you type in OpenSea or a lot of things, you know what you get is just a boatload of scams that are out there. Oh, not too bad right now. So forget what I said. Just stuff like this. Not great. But if you didn't know, Yuga Labs for Board Ape Newton Club and uh, the other ones are CryptoPunks and such, is that they're going to pull their support. Yuga Labs will begin the process of sunsetting support for OpenSea's seaport for all upgradable contacts, new collections. And the whole thing came down because uh, they are not supporting um, dividends uh, for our royalties for the creators. And they're going against that. So, 
And that's a big chunk of OpenSea. So uh, that's what's going on in the news right now for NFT whatnot. But uh, to get back <laughs> to what we're here for, the uh, results. So let me just wipe this out real quick. This is going to make a lot more sense in a bit. And as you can tell, first of all, let's put this in dark mode so it doesn't blow out everybody's eyeballs. All right, that's better. So I'm using Ben's, Ben's website, Into the Cryptoverse. Uh, there's a link in the description. This Actually, you can use this, this DCA uh, simulation for free, and you can sign up on, under the free tier. There's a link in the description. Excited to sign up. It's, I got a 10% off for the first month for you. But you can see that uh, if we started dollar cost averaging Bitcoin, 100 bucks a week, uh, beginning in 2022, January 1st. Remember, we topped out in November 2021. And since 2022, we started to make that slow bleeding decline, which everybody loves to take a look at. And if you would have dropped in, and there's a, different ways to do it. You could lump sum, because we're going to $100 a week from 2022, January 1st, to August 5th, 2023. If we would have done that, $100 every week, we would have spent $8,300 total. So if we just magically had $8,300, and if we lump summed it at that point, and we can also throw in a theory in there. I didn't wipe it out, but I should have. We can just see that this green line here that just goes steadily up, that's 100 bucks a week. So you were actually doing pretty good for a while until around August, September, which again, August, September are like the worst months for crypto anyhow. Uh, you can see you started to go underwater. And right around here, you, you invested, well, let's go one more so I can make this even. All right. If you did this, you invested $5,000 at this point on December 12th, 2022. And you, your ETH would have been worth 3,500. The lump sum of 8,300, the lump sum of $8,300 would have been worth 3,000. So. You see that actually, if you, and actually DCAing Ethereum, you would have actually been ahead by not lump summing all the way back there. And then moving forward, keep going here to the very end, roughly last week, if we would have done this, if you would have lump sum on January 1st, 2022, $8,300 would have been worth now $5,253. You've invested $8,300. ETH would be slightly up, like 500 bucks. So pretty good. Congratulations. Even though you were buying pretty high, over time, it kind of worked out. And if you had a DCA Bitcoin, you'd actually be up 1,500 bucks. So congratulations. So what I wanted to see was, well, how does that look like against some of the top altcoins, roughly in the top 20? And that's what's great about this site is you can do that. So let's take BNB, XRP, Cardano, Doge, Solana, Tron, Polkadot, Matic. I'm not doing Shiba, sorry. Oh, let's just do Shiba for everybody. We'll, we'll complain in the comment section. And uh, let's just stick with Avalanche. Hey, how about Chainlink too? How about Adam? How about Monero? Okay, that's good. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> and here's how we do. So again... If you start on January, I guess January 3rd, if you had a lump sum into Bitcoin, $8,300, and we already did this, it doesn't matter. So the, the big question is, well, how did everything go? Again, around September 5th, again, September, everything is underwater in September. And if you, if, and we, we did this yesterday, we took a look at the, at the ROI. Out of like the 14 months for September, it's like 10 or 11 have been vastly negative for September. And August is the second worst. So you're seeing these two months play out. And this actually happened in 2022. You can see that even though you're dollar cost averaging at a high point to low point, you're still underwater. You invested 3,600 bucks. Let's go to the 5,001. 45, eight, nine, there we go. So, wow, at this point, December 12th, Everything you dollar cost average is underwater. I mean, big time. Especially Solana. Look at that. 1,726. The only thing that you're up right now is Dogecoin. Don't laugh at Dogecoin. And we've talked about this. And, I, and I'll, I'll show you some pieces of data. Dogecoin has been around like forever, 2014, and it's been in the top 20. 
out of those nine years, it's been in the top 20. Eight of those years, it's been in the top 20. So I don't know what your altcoin is, but just remember, don't dismiss Dogecoin. Could be very well. And I will ask you this. If Elon Musk, if crazy Elon comes out and says, you know what, we're going to start using Dogecoin for payments, what do you think the price will happen with Dogecoin? Not investment advice, just saying. Anyhow, Dogecoin did pretty good. And that's at this point. Now then, moving forward, we can see that. What the heck is this? Matic, one of my favorites. Uh, you would have invested 6000 on February 20th, 2023. You'd, uh, you'd be up pretty substantial, 35% or something like that. 6,900. Actually, you'd be up pretty well on Tron. Adam, you'd be up, well, Tron, you'd be up 600 bucks. Not a big deal. Adam and so on and so forth. So you can see that in some ways, lump sum, again, reaching the very low is awful. Again, if you would have been, if you would have lump summed into like what Diddy did in January or February of 2017, you'd be still be pretty sweet. All right. So moving forward, the big question is, well, which ones actually are in profit? Out of all these ones, dollar cost averaging, and let's call a spade a spade, I have invested in many of these. I am currently underwater. Uh, Cardano being the worst one. Avalanche, not too bad. I, I stopped uh, dollar cost averaging for a while. But Adam, I'm underwater. I'm sure of that. Polkadot, yes. Matic, I definitely am. I don't have BNB. Solana, I just started doing Solana. I don't do SHIB. Look at SHIB. Shiba Inu. Actually, you know what? That's not, the, that's not the statement I really should be making. What I should be saying is this, is that, look, I know people talk and they say, like, dollar cost averaging is the greatest thing. It is at some, some situations. But in all honesty, out of the beating that we just took this last couple of weeks, actually this last year and a half, it's not too bad. I mean, look at this. You invested $8,300 and you put $100 in each of these, of these cryptos, 100 bucks every week. Unfortunately, you are underwater on Monero, on Chainlink. But how much? Well, Monero, you're down $62. Mm, not bad. Chainlink, 500 bucks. Dogecoin, 600 bucks. Shiba, so on, everything else. The ones that beat it, dollar cost averaging. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, first of all, it's Bitcoin, obviously. That makes sense. You invested $8,300, you're up roughly $1,500, $1,400. XRP, you're up big time. Congratulations for everybody who dollar cost average XRP. I didn't do that. And you know what else is up? Tron, TRX. So for all these things that we talk about and how we say, ah, it's a ridiculous chain and doesn't really do anything. Well, there's some of your data right there that look, sometimes it does pretty well. And uh, that's it. So look, I think that as time goes on, it's not like this is the worst thing of all time. Uh, this, is, this is the time when, if you're dollar cost averaging, eh, this is not the time to sell, not for me at least, and uh, go from there. And the one thing I would like to, to real quick talk about is that little piece that I showed you. of Dogecoin. I just want to talk about this again real quick. <laughs> Dogecoin. So I just find this fascinating that this was a, a snapshot from 5th of January, 2014. I think Dogecoin, I, I want to say it was created in 2013, the end of 2013. Yes, end of 2013. Yeah, it was created on December 6, 2013. That's why I put it there to remind myself. It's been on the top 31 crypto for a decade. It's a fork of Lucky Coin, which is a fork of Litecoin, which is a fork of Bitcoin. So for the maximalists, they're like, hey, at least we got some genealogy, and it's pretty good. So Dogecoin on the 5th of January 2014 was ranked 16th. On the 4th of January 2015, it was ranked 9th. 2016, 6th. 2017, which is a pretty good year, 14. 2018, not too hot, number, it got a 29. Uh, 2019, it was 20, 24th in the rankings, 31st in the rankings for 2020, and then it makes a little bit of a comeback. 2021, it was number 26. Just last year, it was number 12. And then right now, it's in the top 10. 
So I know people will say, ah, that's ridiculous. But I tell you right now, it's, uh, it's not a bad chain for what it is. And then taking a look at, uh, again, you can do this yourself. When you sign up for this in the Cryptoverse for the free tier, just take a look at if you dollar cost average from, and I, I just picked a 2016 point. If I had a dollar cost average Dogecoin with 100 bucks a week, it'd be worth in, in 20, at the tip of 2018. So just, wow, just two years, I'd have made half a million dollars. It's not bad. And then if I would have uh, started on 2018 and sold the peak of 2021 at 100 bucks a week, you'd have 3.2 million. So I'm not telling you what to invest, I'm just saying, a lot of these chains that we say are just uh, ridiculous and whatever else, they do have some, uh, some legs, so that's it. So look, that's it for today. If I uh, like today's video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing.